While Satan's final battle rages against the family, a Catholic nun in the eye of this storm is making headlines in the Vatican. Join us with the latest news from the Eternal City, Church Militant senior producer and pinch hit Rome correspondent, Dr. William Mahoney. Dr. Mahoney, which nun is now on the Vatican's radar? Sister Lucia Fatima, just yesterday they launched, the, they made her a venerable and they launched the cause for her canonization. Uh, William, why is she so remarkable at this time in history? Well, she's one of the th uh, three Vatican visionaries who Mary appeared to in 1917, and she's also Mary and Jesus appeared to her later, too, while she was a nun. Now, you did, uh, William, you did a deep dive into the whole Fatima, communism, and, and brought in Sister Lucia, of course, uh, that whole documentary. Tell us about that, uh, that uh, show that you produced. That was Marian Moments. It's nine episodes. We, we, we delved into Mary and Fatima, everything she said to Sister Lucia even later, and how communism spread throughout the world because of Russia's errors. Uh, okay. We have a clip of that, actually, that uh, we can show. In 1923, the Russian Revolution ended with the collapse of the last anti-Bolshevik forces. The Bolshevik Party reconstituted itself as the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Two years later, Our Lady appeared again to Lucia at Pontevedra in northwest Spain, where she was a postulant with the Institute of the Sisters of St. Dorothy. As she indicated at Fatima, Our Lady returned to ask for Russia's consecration and the communion of reparation on the first Saturdays. Under Pius XI, who was Pope from 1922 to 1939, the request for Russia's consecration went unheeded, and Russia spread her errors. Yeah, that was a great show uh, in the series actually you put out there, William. Uh, now, you mentioned Pius XI didn't do the consecration, then he died in 1939. Eighty-three years later, after the errors of Russia, a.k.a. communism, spread throughout the world, Pope Francis finally, on March 25th, 2022, did the consecration in union with all the bishops in the world and specifically mentioned Russia by name. Uh, here's a little clip of the, the business part of that consecration. Therefore, Mother of God, and our mother, to your immaculate heart, we solemnly entrust and consecrate ourselves, the church and all humanity, especially Russia and Ukraine, uh, end quote. And that was a monumental thing we covered here uh, in, in depth there. William, do you think last year's consecration, just last year, 83 years after Pius IX did do it, and uh, over 100 years since Fatima uh, talked about it, that that consecration of Russia is any, re any way related to the Vatican's recent move to advance Sister Lucia's cause for sainthood? Oh, I think absolutely. And also the other, the other two, Jacinto Marta and uh, Francisco Marta, they were, JP2 made them both, uh, beat, beat, he beatified them in 2000 on May 13th, which was when Mary started appearing in Fatima, and Pope Francis canonized both of them in 2017, May 13th also. So I think this is very much on the Vatican's mind, so I think it's absolutely related. Now, moving forward to uh, Cardinal uh, Carlo Cafara, he in 2017 came out with a blockbuster uh, statement that he recounts Sister Lucia telling him back in 1984 that, quote, a time will come when the decisive battle uh, between the kingdom of Christ and Satan will be over marriage and the family. And those who will work for the good of the family will experience persecution and tribulation. William, can you explain your perspective uh, to our viewers on how Satan's battle is actually rolling out against the family? Oh, absolutely. I think it starts with the sexual revolution, with uh, allowing contraception, and then from that comes abortion, and then divorce, allowing no-fault divorce and all. And then, and then you have gay marriage. So basically you have this, Satan's using sexual perversion to destroy the family because all of these things take sex, human sexuality completely out of the context that God, you know, created it for. So it's, a, it's a, all of that stuff, all the trans, you know, all the transgender stuff we're seeing, this is all an attack on the family. Now, just before we, uh, if we leave our viewers, the, the Sister Lucia has been made venerable. Can you tell our viewers what that status of venerable means, how you would achieve that status, and what is still ahead of her, uh, you know, in her, in her journey towards sainthood itself? 
Sure, there's, uh, m there's multiple steps. The first one is when they open her cause and they think she's worthy uh, of pursuing this to be a saint, they call her blessed, they call her a uh, servant of God. That's the first step. The second step is when they have explored her life some, then they decide that she did in fact manifest heroic virtue in her life. That's the big thing to open up this and that's when they call her venerable. And now they'll, they'll keep exploring that and they'll be, they'll, there will need to be one miracle. And then after that, they can, they can beatify her. She becomes blessed. And then after another miracle and some further exploration she can finally be canonized and that's when they declare her a saint so uh, viewers uh, please pray to our, our uh, sister Lucia for a miracle uh, if that miracle can be documented verified scientifically unexplainable uh, that could be used for her elevation to the, the this uh, to sainthood uh, also we'd like to take a, a moment uh, William, in, in the other thing that was asked about was the five first Saturdays, 1929, uh, communion reparation, nine first, uh, five first Saturdays. Our Lady came back also to Sister Lucia then and asked for those. Um, a lot of people expected that just because the Pope consecrated Russia last year, that all of a sudden everything would just turn over, you know, all the nuclear missiles would just dissolve in thin air and, and all of the communist plots throughout the world and somehow China, the offspring of, of Russia, would just somehow be converted to, uh, you know, I don't know, capitalism, uh, a republic or, of sorts. Do you, th why, why, how would you explain to our viewers the laity's role, probably missed opportunities for decades and decades, but their role, what they need to do to step up to augment or also to facilitate uh, this whole movement of undoing the errors of Russia that have been seeded for so many decades. Yeah, right, because originally Our Lady tried to prevent this, but Russia already spread her errors. So now with the consecration, I think heaven will always be responsive to especially the Pope and the hierarchy of the church. So now it's a question of trying to undo a lot of the damage. Uh, I think how, one of the biggest things they can do is do, do the five first Saturdays, which are incredibly simple. You go to, you go to confession, you receive Holy Communion, you pray a decade of the rosary and you meditate extra in addition to the rosary, 15 minutes on one of the mysteries of the rosary. We released Marian Moment originally on the first Saturday of each month for nine consecutive months just to help give people things to think about. It doesn't replace the 15 minutes of meditation, but just to help help you have ideas of why you're, why you're doing these prayers and what it is you're trying to undo, what damage you're trying to undo. Thank you very much. Yeah, and also, uh, again, Marion Moment is on our website, the nine episodes of that. Uh, Dr. Mahoney was uh, the producer of that uh, whole series there. You can check that out. It explains all of the aspects of all. And it's all pertinent to Sister Lucia. She was the instrument of God in that whole process uh, before uh, at Fatima itself and then after Fatima when uh, our, our Lady and our Lord appeared to her and asked for those specific things. So uh, thank you very much for, uh, for all of that, that, um, that episode, all that work that you put into that, William. And while we're all experiencing the devastating toll this war is having on our families, we need to keep in mind one more thing Sister Lucia also told Cardinal Kafar. She said to him, quote, but do not be afraid because our Lady has already crushed his, meaning Satan's, head. So have hope, take heart, and keep fighting for the good of families. William, thanks so much for being with us today for this dispatch. Thank you.